Managing firewall filters, also known as access control lists, can be a time-consuming and complex task. However, with JWeb, managing them is simple. Let's go over what you'll see in this video. First, we'll take a look at the firewall filters configuration page. Next, I'll show you how you can easily view and reorder the existing filters. Then we'll take a look at the terms defined for a filter. I'll also show you how you can add a new filter to the existing filters. And finally, I'll show you how you can search for a filter by name. So let's get started. First, I'm going to sign into JWeb. Next, I'll select Configure. Then I'll select Security. Then Filters. Then IPv4 Firewall Filters. This is the IPv4 Firewall Filters configuration page. Here you can see there are two existing filters, Filter 1 and Filter 2. As you know, the order of the filters and terms is important. Starting with the first filter, the device compares a route against the match conditions of each term, starting with the first and moving through the terms in the order in which they're defined, until a match is made. If none of the terms match, the device compares the route against the next filter, and so on, until either an action is taken or the default policy is evaluated. The Firewall Filter Quick Configuration page allows you to easily reorder filters by clicking the up or down arrows. Now let's take a closer look at this filter. Here you can see the terms that have been defined for this filter. You can see that there are three of them. Each term consists of two components, a match condition and an action. Match conditions define the fields and the field values that the packet must contain to be considered a match. If the packet is a match, then corresponding action is taken. However, if a packet does not match, it is discarded. And as you can see, icons are used to indicate the associated action. Let's take a closer look at the terms and their match conditions. You can see that Term 1 accepts any packet with this source or destination address. Term 2 matches any packet with an LDP source or destination port and sets a low PLP bit on the packet. Term 3 discards any packet with this destination address. And just as with the filters, if you need to reorder the terms, you can do so quickly and easily. Now let me show you how you can easily add another filter or term if you need to. To add a new filter, use this dialog box. Enter a new filter name and the name of the first term in the filter. Then select exactly where the filter is to go. Let's say we want it between our existing filters. Then click Add, and you can define your terms. You can also search for a filter by name and display a specified number of filters on the page. We only have two, so this isn't necessary, but this is how you would do it. Enter the name of the filter you're searching for, and then click OK. And here are the search results. Now you can get started using JWeb to manage your firewall filters.